Welcome to Appetite for the Wild. We're very excited to be showing you our new Barra Tracker trailer, which is going to carry the Yalia van boat. We're uh, just about to put it in the water and get the boat off and give you a good look at it. Can undo the safety chain and get it in the water and show you how easy it is to come off the trailer. This barrow tracker trailer is a tilting trailer and one of the great features is that you can actually wind the tilt on before you launch. So Melissa's going to undo the latch and show you how that's done. Unhook that, and then via a jockey wheel Winds the tilt on like that. So on remote areas, on beaches and creek banks, when you're not on a concrete boat ramp, it makes launching and recovering so much easier. Just lowers the back of the boat closer to the water. Yep, that should be good. So Melissa's now going to send the boat back um, just by unwinding the Runva winch. In the remote, very simple. beast of a trailer. Barra Tracker trailers are made in the Atherton Tablelands right on the doorstep of Cape York. So Dave has been building these for 20 years for seeing everything that can go wrong with a boat trailer and he's come up with uh, this design and it's unbreakable. So up front we've got a Hitchmaster DO35 hitch and as you've just seen before, the lockdown for the tilting part of the trailer and the, uh, the jockey wheel mechanism that puts the tilt on, that is going to save so much on uh, flat beaches. We've asked them to make us up some stone guards. I never thought that they'd be reinforced like that. Unbelievably strong. Inside here, they've made us a toolbox, which we asked for. Let's carry the basic tools in there as we're traveling away. The battery box, which powers the winch and uh, electric over hydraulic brakes. Two jerry can holders either side for extra fuel. The Runva 6,000 pound winch, and another hand winch as a backup in case something ever went wrong, which you can never have too many backups in remote areas. One of the most impressive things is the strength of this winch tree. The reinforcing that he's done on this is just unbelievable. Will never ever break. It's one of the things that breaks the most when you're away in remote areas, you see everyone with broken winch trees, that thing isn't going to break. There's a well there for the spare tyre. Heap of centre rollers in there to disperse the weight evenly. And then either side is a fuel tank, 80 litres a side. And that's where we carry all our fuel when we go into a remote area for four to five weeks. Tandem trailer with brakes in the front axle 
and full independent suspension which they make themselves. Back skids which hold the boat square and upright and as you'll see in a minute this coming back onto the trailer is a dream. Each side's got a nice big strong tie down to hold your boat securely on there. All the uprights are a threaded rod with a double locking nut underneath. Makes it very easy for fine adjustment and never ever comes loose. A quick look underneath and show you how strong that independent suspension is. They make all that in shop. And that's the uh, drain point for the fuel tanks. So I undo that plastic bung and then stick a hose in it and fill the jerry cans up and then take it to the boat. The tyres and rims are exactly the same as what's on the Land Cruiser 79. So one spare fits all and running the parallel bearings which you can buy anywhere. That's the mounting bracket for the jockey wheel. When not in use, it gets carried there, away from all the sticks and stones. That's the jockey wheel position when you want to take the trailer on and off. You just use the lever and take it off the trailer and put it onto there. All the spring and mud guards are galvanised steel and the rest of the chassis of the trailer is aluminium. So there should not be any corrosion problems. I've built my own off-road trailer in the past and looked at many others over the years and nothing comes close to this. Very impressive. Without a doubt this would be Australia's toughest off-road boat trailer ever built. Can't wait to put it to use in Cape York this year. Just keep an eye out, there'll be some other videos coming up shortly of the Alluvan boat build and the fit out. So if anyone's got any questions, don't hesitate to ask and tell you what you want to know. Perfect. How easy is that?